we're gonna test the spark or dot feature of the Dura Spark 2 module. And the way the spark or dot works is to help the truck start up easier when you have the key in the start position, basically the cranking position, voltage is applied to this uh, red and blue wire which also runs to the starter solenoid and then there's a white wire here that tells the module to retard the spark by a few degrees and that's supposed to help the start the truck when it's hot and so forth so here's the wiring diagram for Dura Spark of the 81 AVTM you could use any year for this matter but as you can see when the key is in the start position the starter solenoid is triggered and so is the white wire on the DuraSpark module which this is the module here and that tells the module to retard the spark so what we're going to do to test it is while the truck is running basically this wire is getting power and that's the power to the module we're going to just go ahead and pull this off the starter relay and apply 12 volts there as if the truck was cranking in start position all right and if the spark retard was to work you would see that with the truck running the rpms would come down and here we're going to test the spark retard by applying 12 volts battery to the same wire that triggers the solder solenoid and this is a tip i learned from gary lewis and jim um, over in the forums, truck forums, and uh, came out of their discussion. So, as you can see here, I have the timing light hooked up. We we're averaging about 1040, 1050 RPM, and watch what happens as I apply voltage to this pin here. See, it's pulled back closer to 1000 RPM. And as I remove the voltage, we're back up to 1040. So yeah, this works actually. And applying it again. Pulls it back a little bit. It's not a big difference, but it's still a indication that things are working. So with, me, with it removed now, it's back up close to 1050, 1060. We're going to test this other module now that I got from Advanced Auto Parts. And it literally takes like one minute to swap out the module just to test it. And we'll see if it works. Okay, the truck is running. And we're back up close to 1040 and so. And uh, I've hooked up this wire from the battery. Pulls it back down closer to 1000. And then when I remove it, we're back up close to 1050. So I would say we're pretty much in the right ballpark where we need to be in both the modules.